Hi, I'm Matt Lamb, one of the engineers at Philips Manufacturing. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about Philips Resilient Channel or RC as they're commonly known out in the industry. We have a lot of different shapes, a lot of different sizes for all those different, uh, different assemblies that you might run into out there in the industry. So let's take a few minutes of time and let's talk about each one individually and what they mean to you. The first resilient channel I want to talk to you about is RC2. Word comes from having two flanges here, two screw flanges on the product. Now just because it has two screw flanges doesn't mean you put two screws in at each connection point. You still only put in one screw, let's say at the first stud, and then you put the next screw in at the next stud, but you alternate flanges as you're installing the screws. So you still only use the same number of screws and only one screw per connection like you do with RC1. The other thing on this product here is this product is like two and five eighths by one and three eighths at the head or the hat, the top part. Now you'll find on some UL systems out there that when it comes to the resilient channel, not only do they have a thickness, but they also have a size requirement. They're getting away from that more and more, but there's still a few out there. So to this product here, RC2, will fit those UL assemblies that have a size requirement to them. You'll notice also on all of the RC, and this goes for our competitors, I get phone calls all the time. We're looking for something that's 3 quarters of an inch tall, 7 eighths tall, uh, only 7 sixteenths tall. All the RC channels that I'm aware of from this base under here to the top come in at a half of an inch. I'm not aware of any other sizes. I'm not saying they don't have some out there. I've just never run into them. You'll notice too on the RC2, we've got hems on both flanges. Okay, add some strength, some stability, some rigidity when you're putting this up on a ceiling. The material thickness on this product also is 018. Okay, so the steel thickness right here is 018. The other thing you'll notice on Philips RC2, where a lot of products right here, all they have are holes. You'll see that on our RC1 also. They have holes in here, and that is what uh, cuts down on the travel of the sound from the stud, where it's uh, fastened to the stud, to where the drywall attaches to the hat. That's how a resilient channel works. And with Philips RC2, you'll see that we have expanded metal on the sides. So this RC2 is a great product, but a lot of people out there think because it's got two flanges, it's great for ceilings because you're putting two screws in and on each joist. And remember, it's only one screw per connection, but you alternate flanges as you're installing this. On a wall or on a ceiling, it's both the same. This product here is RCXL. We came out with this product so that those UL assemblies, just like with the RC2, that have a size requirement on the resilient channel, this product, as well as the RC2, will meet those size requirements. Now, if you measure this out, you're going to come out somewhere around 1 and 9 sixteenths by 1 and 3 quarters. And that fits in there just fine because those assemblies that still have those size requirements on them have a minimum of two and three eighths by one and three eighths. Okay, they don't talk about the height at all. The height on this product, by the way, is still a half inch, just like all RC channels. So remember that on those UL assemblies that list a minimum size of two and three eighths by one and three eighths, XL as well as RC2 meet that criteria. Now you're also going to see on this product here we've got a hemmed edge which uh, number one it's a safety thing so people don't have to worry about getting cut plus it also adds some rigidity to the product when you're installing on the wall or a ceiling. You notice we've got the screw holes in the flange down here and we also have the holes right here in this upward leg I call it for uh, the resiliency. It reduces the amount of sound just like with the RC2 from the screw flange to the hat. So your stud is attached to the screw flange and your drywall is attached to the hat. 
The next resilient channel I want to talk to you about is Philips flagship, True 25. Now True 25 is your standard, some people consider it inch and a quarter sized RC channel. So if we take, the, you know, and measure it like we did the other ones, it's just a little over two inches, say two and sixteenth overall. And the inch and a quarter comes out right here at the hat, depending on where you put the ruler, it's an inch and a quarter from the top of these two bumps, right here to the center of that. You'll see on this product here that we have a hemmed edge just like the other ones for safety and it also adds some rigidity to it. We also have the, uh, the holes that add and, and reduce the sound travel and add to the resiliency of this product. Uh, this product here is made out of uh, uh, hot dip galvanized steel. It is uh, true 25 which means the thickness is somewhere in the uh, 022 to 026 range, so we're at the top end of the 25 gauge and the low end of the, of the 24 gauge. It's a great product. This is a one-man product. One man can hang this from the ceiling, no problem at all. Put a screw in the middle and he can do the ends, work his way out to the ends. It doesn't require two people because this product here is not going to kink on you when you're trying to put it on a ceiling. And this is one of the, the biggest selling features of this product here is it's a one-man install. This next product is actually a rendition of the True 25. You'll notice that you're seeing paint right here. Well, that is paint on top of the hot dip galvanized steel that you saw earlier on the regular 225. And it tests out the same. It's got the same uh, holes in the upper leg, the same hem. Nothing has been eliminated from this product. Same steel thickness. This next one I want to talk to you about is the, the Resilient Channel Standard Duty. It is made on the same tooling as True 25, so it has the same dimensions as True 25, but you'll notice there's no True 25 or any stamping in the hat at all. The biggest difference between this and the True 25 is the material thickness. Where we said in the True 25, the material thickness is around 022 to 026. This material thickness here is a little thinner, it's 018. Okay, it still does a great job for most of those installations that you have out there. Um, but I will say, if you're going to put up two layers of 5 8 Type X on the ceiling, I know I'd sleep better if you're using True 25 on that and not, you know, one of the other products because that steel thickness does make a big difference when it's carrying that much weight. Okay, we've reviewed all of Philips resilient channels RC2, RCXL, True 25. 225 WebEx and Standard Duty. Now, if you require an STC test on any of those, contact us and we'll get it right out to you. If you need a sample, contact us and we'll get that sample right out to you. And like all of Philips products, they're engineered to perform.